What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Unapologetically Stupid, presented by Squirrely TV. I am your hostess with the mostest, best of Midwest, Jeff Rhodes, and with me, as always, I have the sensationable Nicholas Shin. What's up, guys? Before we get started, make sure to head over to all social media platforms and follow us on at Squirrely TV, and make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That was pretty good. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Well, if you haven't been following podcasts, I've been following the intro ever since this <laughs> ever since this season began. That was pretty good. I'm proud of myself. Now I can condone us going to the boathouse tonight and yeah. celebrating. I might get a little extra something special. <laughs> what? Ice cream? Oh. Do they even sell ice cream? I don't know. Who knows? I've never gotten that far. <laughs> why, why do I keep holding this thing like a I, dick? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's all it's, it's all you, man. I, I can't control what you, what how you grab things or what you grab things or why you grab things. You know, you should you should you should have asked the therapist when we had him on the on the podcast. Well, I'll hit her up in the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a good show for you, like always, Ooh. because uh, this episode we got uh, a few things to talk about health wise. But first, before that, Nick, how was your weekend? It was uh, uneventful. Uneventful, nothing happened. I went shopping. What did you get? Oh yeah, you I, I you came over on Saturday, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, Where, rocking yeah. your new apparel. You oh, want to yeah. tell the listeners yeah, what yeah, you yeah. got? I got some shoes. I got a jean jacket. I got many lotions <laughs> from Bath and Body Works. Five dollars is five dollars. That's a pretty good deal. That when you come over, there's just a whole some more so, uh, assortment. Cluttering my <laughs> bathroom counter of lotion. I have collected from, uh, I think this Christmas, because Paige's grandma likes to give out soaps and things like that. So between her and me and, like, just Paige's going to bath and body, I think we have about, like, seven. Yeah, like, you, or might five be dollars. Beyond. I'm not it's sure. It's normally, like, 15 but or most of them are most of them are holiday themed. So I'm oh, like, yeah, that's okay. I'm going to be some, like, peppermint in the middle of the summer. You know, it's going to be it weird. It depends on what you're doing that day. Just just working. Getting all peppermint fatty. <laughs> Oh, I love peppermint fat. But you're missing the the shoes. Those are some all white Adidas, bro. Oh, they were dude. fresh as fuck. That was like a frat girl on day. Thursday night. That was the deal of the day. How much were those again? They were original. They're like seventy five bucks. I got them for thirty seven. That's a freaking yeah. good deal. Should have got two pairs. See, I'm see here listening to this. I envy you because I just can't go to a random place. Well, yes, you went to Edinburgh, which they might have my yeah, like at, at the good. Nike outlet. Yeah, they might have, outlet. but like. Every time I go to the Edinburgh for shoe shopping, it's like they have size 15s, but none of them are like my no, style, I guess. Because you're not going to discount something that's a commodity. You know? Well, yeah. Yeah. It's always like some purple ass. Uh, you remember my those shoes I had in, <laughs> in grade school? Yeah. Like the purple, yellow. I call them my Skittle shoes. Yeah. And I wore those literally every single day in eighth grade, probably going into my freshman year until like the soles wore out. And like my mom bought them for me because the Cause only Because aren't the, the ones that disappeared on our DC trip when you were in that thing? Somebody oh, stole your shoes. I think so. That might have yeah. been ones, but yeah, those I don't were know why anybody would steal those, those shoes. They can't fit them. No <laughs> one <laughs> walking a lot like a clown. Dude, but those shoes were so ugly. Love you, mom, but uh, I couldn't say no because I'm not. I didn't have the luxury to say no to sh- new shoes, especially them. Those were expensive. They were, and they were so ugly. <laughs> but I rocked. And my grandma one time got me like got me like these like brown. Like they look like old man loafers, but they yeah. were brown Nikes. Yeah, had to wear those things too. God. Thank God I can pay for my own. I can't pay for my own shoes, but I can pick them out, though. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't bought a new oh, pair of shoes in a while. Actually, that's a lie. I bought a new pair of shoes for the uh, my DR trip last year. Like, I legit have more shoes right now than I ever thought I would have in a lifetime. How many shoes do you have? I think I got 12 pairs. That's that's a lot. I, for me. That's a lot. For, I think that's a lot for anybody. Maybe right. if you're not, like, maybe if you're if for a guy, maybe. Because Paige has a, don't get me started. This but I, I'm already tell you this year on the road, uh-huh. I'm gonna get a new suitcase. Okay. And the whole top portion is just gonna be going out shoes. Going out shoes? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah! I don't know. Wearing all right on the road just scares me. If we're going out, going out. I'm not like. But where are you? Going anytime out? I'm around a truck, I'm not. But like, yeah. But so like, where are you going out? Like in Nebraska somewhere? Yeah, no. I'm <laughs> like you guys go to like some random town. Yeah, but sometimes. we go to nice places. Okay, I'm just making sure. <laughs> Do you know what you want to know what I did this weekend? What'd you do? Uh, I Why halfway I, to what you did? I think I might have made the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> uh, so, 
you know, let's go f- <laughs> did you get it at least? I did. Hell, no, it's no, I didn't. did. You son of a guys. I promise one of these days we're gonna fumigate my apartment and get rid of these. I've, I've been listening to my, the podcast back, and it's just like it kind of takes me out of every time we we stop just to hear. You know how you <laughs> fumigate them? Huh. You move. Uh, you know, I don't think the problem is the apartment. As we talked about, uh, let's move on. Might be some orange juice. <laughs> <in a pickle. laughs> uh, but guys, as you guys know, uh, Squirrely TV is my new thing now. I am. Is that on the wall? Hell yeah. Got that. T- didn't fall. <laughs> my God. Gold. But uh, I look for opportunities to shoot content anywhere I can. You know, I hate that word too. The word content pisses me off. I like to just say videos. I like to uh, look at, you know, inspiration and try to get where I can to make my life which is very ordinary to be extra extraordinary. So when opportunity comes, I I I I like to say I take advantage of it. But this one, I'm not sure is a good idea. This if I take one, you kind of walked into a blind room. Uh, like, yeah. So I'm going on a trip recently. Um, my mom doesn't listen to this, and I'll tell her not to listen to the podcast because this is a surprise. Hell yeah, Fuck yeah. Skater <laughs> <Just> died. <dude. laughs> but so we're going to. Uh, on my mom's birthday trip. It's her 60th birthday. It's a surprise to her. So I'm just going to say it because I'm telling her not, not, not to listen to this. But uh, we're going to Savannah, Georgia. It's also a surprise. Yeah. She, we used to live there. Uh, she has some colleagues that are coming by just to celebrate the weekend with her. Hell, I was there in May. It's, and John was, apparently John went there last year for his anniversary. A lot of people yeah. are going to Savannah. It's I a, love Savannah. I haven't been back to where I can make a conscious like memory. You, you know what I mean? Tybee Island. And, mm. What's Tybee Island? See, I don't even know that because I lived there for a year and a half, I think, or a half. It's like 20 minutes out of Savannah. It's an it's a, like an actual island, like yeah. a beach. And that's, that's far out. But it's, uh, it's nice. Or no, was it, was it Tybee <laughs> Island? or When you go so many places. <laughs> you just kind of blend together a little bit. Was it Tybee Island or Turtle something? <laughs> <laughs> turtle something? I went somewhere <laughs> on a beach when we were in Savannah because we okay. went to Paula Deen's. Nice. <laughs> was it buttery? Oh, my God. <laughs> and guess what? Never mind. <laughs> I don't know if I, I, don't no, I want to know. No, I was just, I just can't believe the, the ethnic cystic. <laughs> Watch yourself, I, man. I can't, see, I can't even talk. I've walking myself in the corner there was a lot of black servers and waitresses and after what that woman did now why the f- they be working for <laughs> they don't know it's it's hard to comment people need jobs you know what i mean i don't know but uh <laughs> but then biscuits i sh- had one in nashville i really wanted to go but then I, my morals kicked in i was like we don't support this one but then again i will listen to morgan wallen Sometimes <laughs> a lot. But anyways, we're getting off topic like we usually do. Uh, Savannah is known for having, like, one of the biggest, like, I guess, ghost populations. Like, they call it the city that was built on the dead. And there's a lot of, like, haunted places. And so, since I'm going to be there, and I'm making a parody about a ghost, like, a ghost hunting show. And I've been into ghost hunting since I was a kid. Oh, Not actually done, doing it, but just watching the shows. We've done some dumb shit involving spooky places. True. But uh, I'm going to be st- spending the night at this hotel called the Marshall House. Uh, I looked it up. It's like on most of the top 25 lists. It's, it averages around somewhere from 11 to 15 in the top 25 oh, most haunted yeah. hotels. Oh, number one being, of course, the Stanley Hotel. Yeah, been there. That's fun. Sick. I, that's we my need next to go. Goal. That's my next goal. Well, it's depending, expensive. Though. Depending how this one turns out, I might not want to do this ever again. No, you'll be good. Uh, but uh, I looked it up. Uh, I called them. I looked it up first and said, "Hey, like, what's the hot, like, what's the scariest room that you can get in this place?" And it was room four fourteen for the Marshall House. Did and you I, get it? Yeah, and <laughs> it wasn't even that hard. I thought I was. I was calling them up, saying like, literally, just like, There's please, a let, reason it's please not that hard. let it be like. Uh, like it's like it's just not there. Uh, they're like, "Hey, how's it going?" Like, yeah, I was wondering. You know, amateur YouTuber trying to make a video is the room one uh, fourteen uh, four fourteen available? They're like, what day on Monday? It's like, yeah, oh, yeah, no one comes in on Monday. I'm just like, oh, fuck. what if you get there and you walk in to check in? And they're like, we never talked to you, but we can give you a room. That'd be freak. Well, that'd be shitty because I kind of booked it and I'm <laughs> to get my car- credit card information. Who did I give it to? I don't. I want to know. I want a some. Ghost. An- I want some answers. That ghost is fucking on Amazon right well, now. I was just saying, as long as the ghost isn't <laughs> like identity theft, I'll be the fine. Ghosts are different than aliens. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
But uh, yeah, so your boy will be spending uh, next Monday um, in a haunted hotel room. Of course, I'm going to vlog it. And I bought for my parody show that's not real. I bought all the real equipment. So I'm bringing all my real equipment. Like go like like I have a spirit box, EMF reader, uh, night vision cameras. I'm bringing all that stuff in this room. And I'm probably going to be by, by myself because Paige doesn't want to go. You literally need to set up cameras and shit and just record all night. I'm going to have go that to, one setting up all night. Go to bed and just wake up and watch. That's, that's going to be like, what, six hours depending on when I go to bed. My thing is, one of the reviews I listened to, or listened to, read, <laughs> said uh, two of them said that they woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning. No reason why. They just woke up. They didn't feel anything. Hmm. They just and one apparently. So the room I'm staying. Okay, let's, let, I'll just give you the, the skinny on all the things that happened. Give in this me the room. skinny. Any. Everything that happened in this room that like that that people see. You hear ghost kids outside and playing in the, playing in outside your room. You look into like the little people. No one's out there. Ha ha! It is Tybee Island, bitch. <laughs> I didn't doubt you. I, that was me. I was I was talking to me in that camera. Sorry. Like, I never doubted you. Sorry. Uh, that kids running around syndrome. <laughs> kids running around in the hallway, mostly little girls, which. It's the South, so I'm guessing they're white. So this which Did is you my worst nightmare. Okay, what's it called again? The Marshall House? The Marshall House. Did you search to see if Mr. Marshall owned slaves? Mary Marshall. Mary? It was a woman who made the hotel. And here's the thing I also learned, which gave me a little pep in my step. Uh, it, was a, it was a hospital for the Union in the Civil War. So people died there. But they're people who weren't racist. The Union, not the Confederate. I'm but. happy. <laughs> I told my sister I was like Oh my god They sold us a hospital for like, was like Which side I was like I hope to god It was the north <laughs> And I looked it up and Yeah it was a union So hell yeah I'm happy about that Well There's probably still Racist people in the north Back then But you know Ghost your ghost though Yeah but it ghosts Can still be racist <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter You're dead alive uh, Racism uh, lives on <laughs> But there's a union soldier Who roams the halls With no arms <laughs> Or like How I he think he, off? <laughs> he's a ghost. I don't know. <laughs> jerk still got a game, bro. Uh, uh, what <laughs> else? I get that spooky ooky on her. <laughs> Jesus, not in the room that I got, uh, but the one below me in three hundred four. Uh, I think there's like a kid who haunts that one who bites people. Ooh, and uh, there's been multiple occasions where he's bitten the kid and like. Like a little girl or something like that, uh, and also in the room I'm staying at, uh, the smell of foul like odors. But it's not. Someone said it's not because it's like demonic. All the ghosts are pretty friendly; and don't do shit to you. It's just that because of the hospital the amputees and like the fucking kid bites people though. Yeah, that's just like a untrained. You blame the parents. You know what untrained. I mean? Yeah, just blame the parents. You know what I mean? You can't blame the kid. He has no home training. <laughs> you got to blame the ghost parents. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, they they used to. Like, cauterized wounds in like the hospital yeah. there and like the, people say they smell like burnt flesh that, and like there, stuff there like was that. no fucking air conditioning back then so you know just was sweaty True. as hell True. In there, so. uh, but here's the one thing that freaked out me and Paige is on the fence about staying with me or not that's why I say I'm gonna go alone because I, I don't think she's gonna do it but she might because I don't think she wants to spend that with my parents or my like my whole family and by herself uh, there is uh, talks of on the left side of the bed between the like the side table and the mirror is a tall woman who sometimes reaches out and takes the covers from you, like pulls the covers down. She's just cold. I don't want to. What side do you sleep on? I sleep on the left side. Oh, sleep on the right. Well, here's the thing with me. Like, I'm always, I always told myself if I ever did investigate, like done like ghost hunter, I'm okay with hearing and feeling like someone touches me. Cause I, I feel like I, like someone touches me up half the time. I'm paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> if I see something that's not supposed to be there, that's when I start to, you know, question my reality. I'm like, so if I see a full body apparition, like a person, I start talking to this thing. Cause there's also things like people like, uh, soldiers run like, uh, going on in the lobby and guests talking to soldiers, thinking that they're like, they're like reenactors or whatever. And then the staff will say, no, th- those are just ghosts. Oh, f- that's what I'm saying. See that, that stuff doesn't bother me anymore. I pretty much live the last summer in a house in Southern Illinois. That's haunted. Oh yeah. We'll so, talk about that. Like so, the, so the basement to. too. I, well, it's just Ben's family. Like, it's his, his mom and dad. And True. Yeah, so they're friendly. And since I look like him, I think they don't fuck with me. Have you ever? <laughs> that is very true. I've seen some shit, though. Have you, like, has ever, like, touched you or anything? Like, uh, it's, it's mostly noises, I've woken right? up with weird, like, marks. Like, scratch marks on my chest. Is it three? Yeah. Oh, man, that's bad. 
Three, three scratch marks means they're mocking the Trinity. It's a demon. Hold on. I got a picture. Because I because that was when I was all bruised up from driving. Oh, So I was okay. taking pictures. But there's no, like, even my Hans that comes down over my shoulders. Yeah. There's no way it would have got over here. So I was like, hmm. Uh, yeah, no. Three scratches is them mimicking the, like, the mark of, like, you know, the three. Like, Father, Son, and the oh, Holy Spirit. Those are titties. <laughs> Sorry. You gotta keep it off the keep it off the camera. It ain't on the camera. She wouldn't mind though. Where are these? Oh, there they are. All right, let me show. Let me see these scratches. Oh, I'm sorry, it's five. Oh, okay, that's that's We're fine. Good. But I don't know how I did that. That is also weird though. Yeah, like <laughs> five is fine. It's just three. Is, well, that's from the truck, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's from big air coming down. Oh, uh-huh. but yeah. So you just you just hear stuff in the basement, right? Well, it sounds like someone's walking up and down the hallway all night. Uh, oh, yeah, you told me that. And, and I know Lou goes to the bathroom a lot, but not that much. Yeah, but you're, you've actually seen the ghost when back in the a San Asylum downtown. You said you saw one in the, in the dust in that room. Was it you and Sarah? Like, it was in broad daylight. And it was like a, like, oh, like yeah, a cha- sitting a ch- in the chair. Yeah, sitting in the chair. Yeah, it was one of them chairs that, like, they would tie but you But, like, you saw, like, a faint person in the chair. No, what I saw was because the whole building was collapsing. And we were on the second level, so there was nothing above us. So the holes coming from outside, the, sh- the light shined in. Mm-hmm. And, like, the sunlight went around like, like a, someone a sitting there. Yeah. Like, I didn't see anybody. It just it looked like a silhouette of the someone du- sitting uh, there. Got you, got you, which is still freaking me the hell out. And that's when Nick was gone. <laughs> that, that could have been a coincidence, but still, I, you don't want to risk like, it. And I'm like, were you there? Was it no, just... I wasn't there. I think it might have been you and Sarah and John, maybe. Because but... every time we would do stupid like that, and I would leave. I'd be like, the guy with the guns leaving. Come on, and we would just take off. I I only went twice, and I only actually walked the grounds once, and that's when the headless horseman came out of nowhere. Yeah, it was just an IMPD mounted patrol. Yeah, but that motherfucker was, had Aunt a Becky light. Knew we were there. Had a light, and he was coming fast. I was <laughs> like, and this is right after I said it, the thing said death to niggers on the on the board, <laughs> and I was just like, now guys, we gotta get it. We gotta get out of here. I was like, guys, we have to go. And then you guys were just taking your time. Stupid fucking kids, though. The biggest, okay, you had all the spooky ookies and everything, but the biggest threat we had there was homeless people. Like yeah, that, that night we walked racist in, homeless people. Well, yeah, <laughs> aren't they all? But you know, we walked in that one room and there was like twelve sleeping bags in a yeah, circle yeah, yeah, yeah. and a fire in the middle. I'm like, we're in a basement. Yeah, that They're that like, didn't scare me though, because I was like, oh, it's homeless people. They're just looking for a shelter. What that that message? Did no, me. well, we're, well, no. I wonder why. Let's read into it. Why did that message scare you, Jeff? I don't know. Something about 800 plus years of just (laughs) history. (laughs) Oh, but uh, what what are we talking about this week? uh, Nick, you tell me because you you have to go to the hospital tomorrow, right? The hospital? Hospital doctor's office. You're getting a checkup. I go next week. Yeah, and you, you were telling me you're a little I nervous. One, you're I a little got one nervous. Doctor's about it. appointment Monday, and I got another doctor's appointment Wednesday. What's the second one about? Oh, is that your skin? No, that's the big. That's the bad one. The scary doctor. What's this, take this, my blood. Oh, because they do needles. That's the one he's oh, gonna scare. Well, that, and he's <laughs> gonna, you know, tell me what's wrong with me. With your skin? No, that's <laughs> Monday, Jeff. Okay, which one's your physical? Wednesday. It's a dermat- physical. It's a blood work. And telling me what kind of cancer I have. You don't have any cancer. Is there a spot on you somewhere? Oh, I got plenty of spots. You got he- like moles? No. Well, no. What kind of cancer? Okay, first of all, my doctor won't let me get an MRI or any of that because she. I asked for that before I switched my insurance and to my to where I had to pay. You for don't it. have a history of head trauma. Does head trauma lead to cancer? No. <laughs> Does it? If it. Does, <laughs> No, but you just, you were just telling me that you were, you were you were uh, nervous about it a little bit because this is your what your I've first been, physical. I've, and I haven't been to the doctor since <laughs> like twenty nineteen or twenty twenty. I don't. Remember. It was pre end of the world. Yeah, and I've gone. I went during COVID. <laughs> Not like I like you know like the virtual ones. And I I got, I'm pretty sure I got diagnosed with a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's that disease called, man? <laughs> Ebola. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All my hernias are gouging. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you have a hernia? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Thank, I've been trying to get you to go to the doctor for years. Why now? Because I'm scared, man. What do you mean? Like, what made you... I got everybody... Okay, so what really 
prompted it and he'll hear this like six months from now and he'll call me and go, (laughs) but every time I leave Illinois, I sit out on the front porch for a minimum of an hour. Okay. And I did it with Ben this time. Okay. And we were talking in this night. He's like, I'm worried about you, son. And I'm like, why? And he's like, well, you're the prime reason the tobacco companies are still in business (laughs) and you don't go to the doctor and this and that. And you're drooling half the time and drooling. Oh yeah. What do you mean? I go full tism sometimes. <laughs> oh, dear. Like all the tisms. <laughs> do you just... <laughs> do you just, like, sit there and just, like, use your completely like zoned sometimes, out? Sometimes, like, my brain stops. Like, thinking? Like, you're just sitting there staring at space and just thinking about and nothing. And let me note, this never happens when I'm driving a 13,000-pound truck. Well, I hope is, to no, God I wouldn't not. do it. I wouldn't do it. Well, because cause you're sitting on the front porch. It's peaceful. You're looking out into, like, the fields and everything. I can see why your brain can just, you know, go just blank. But you, so you just open your, like, so this is you? You just mouth open and you just start drooling? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> it's just something about that place that makes me happy. I feel you. I don't know what it is. So so Ben's the one who's like the well, main Well, he reason. was the last one I talked to about okay. it. And I was like, fuck it, fine. I'm going to show you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I made a doctor's appointment two weeks later. <laughs> okay. I had to talk myself into it. But you're getting blood work and everything done. I still have time to not show up, but... Well, you you got to show up. <laughs> it's not like my hair appointment where they charge me full price if I don't show I up. I mean, the hair... This is, this is your medical... Because you know I'm a strong advocate you're, for going you're to... You're a hypochondriac. I know. But I must. I think everyone should get a physical done at least once a year. Well, you're you're busy. supposed to. It takes... How, it takes like an hour of your day. I, well, if I'm not here, how am I going to do it? They schedule it out like six months in advance. Oh, what if I brought back in six months? <laughs> Are you not going to be here in October? I don't know. I don't know my I know I got to be in Fort Wayne March 18th, and that's it so far. Well, yeah, why don't you go to the doctor March 19th? Because I won't be here. I'll be in a semi driving south. That's fair. Whip in there in the rig. But you finally got you in town where you're going to the doctor. Yeah, I'm going to go next week. And so that was so that's Monday. It's your physical, correct? Wednesday. Wednesday. What's the one? Monday's the dermatologist. Yeah, I'm going. Just and then cause. why are you going to a, just <laughs> just because? Yeah, I mean, it's free. Okay. Is if like, you got it, use it. Is there any like moles you're worried about? No, I just want them to look at me. Just look at you. Yeah, we have a good conversation. Do you have a male doctor or a female doctor? Which one? Either one. Like, is, do you have, they're do you both have, dudes. They're both dudes. See, the my main doctor I've known forever. Mm-hmm. And one of my dad's friends actually used to babysit him. Oh, wow. So normally he walks in and sees me and he's like, oh, this is going to be quick. He never tells me the truth. <laughs> and he's like, all right, we'll get your blood work in. Or do you want to do blood work? That's, that's okay. So I haven't had blood work done the last time. So, so it's I, been I, even I longer had, since you had blood, yeah, blood work Yeah, because he done. gave me the option and the dumb mother knows I'm going to say no. <laughs> they always give you the option. Not Most- normally. He said, last time looked pretty good. Do you want to do it this time? I'm like, no, nah, get me out of here. Oh, because really? I'm in a where my doctor office is there on 116th Street. It's one of them mm-hmm. parking garage buildings, and uh, we're on the third floor. So when a car is driving down that level, uh-huh. the whole f-ing floor moves. And I got fucking Stacy in my arm with a needle, <laughs> and Stacy's a dude. Wait, really? Yeah. Every <laughs> time he walks in, he goes, "Oh God, go ahead and lay down," because I just about <laughs> fell off the table one year. He's like, "You're too big to catch now, Nick." Wait, why are you on a table getting poked? Why don't you sit in a chair? With the arm thing. I don't know. <laughs> they have you lay down fully and just take your blood? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to do it this time. I ain't bitch. <laughs> you, you might want to. I'm going to stand up. <laughs> Why don't they just have you in a chair? I don't know. What kind of? Is it a part of the community network? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Damn. Okay. I I go to Dr. Shout out Dr. Stucky. That's, that, that's, that's my girl right there. I tell her more than I tell Paige. She's touched you in more places than Paige has. Yeah, that's probably. the reason I don't like guy doctors. So I don't want them touching my. No, I feel my, safe with Timmy. Really, you, you feel more safe with a man touching you down I've there known than a woman him forever. It's kind of like going in the basement with your uncle. I I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would still rather have a stranger who's a woman touch me more than a man I've known my whole entire life. That makes sense. It, it, like, <laughs> I mean, just like not sexual, just in general. 
I just don't like men have rough hands and stuff. Remember that one? I think it's because that one time when I was in like eighth or freshman year, I had my physical and Dr. Stucky was out and like some other dude came in for her and he didn't wear gloves and he touched my gonads. He had cold ass hands. That's a, that's a true fact. I don't Are know his sure name. He was a doctor. I, I hope to God. <laughs> What could a doctor not put a glove on him? That's what I'm... I didn't notice at the time. I told my mom. She was like, that's strange. Please, I want to feel the pulse. And, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I want to feel it in the tips of I've, my Ever since then, I was like... Because it was at that time where I was like hitting puberty. She was like, do you want to switch doctors? I'm like, nah. She was like, you don't want to talk to a guy about all this stuff you're going through? I'm like, nah. I think Stucky gets me. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's, it's chill, bro. <laughs> I've been I've been seeing her all my life. We need to get her on the pod. <laughs> I was all the shit. I, the one time I didn't tell her, I, I that's the one time I, I kept a secret from her. It was this last physical. Oh, with the hemorrhoids? Yeah, with the hemorrhoids. I, I, I'm still scared. I need, I, I need to go schedule. You know, I told you. I'm going to put a finger in my butt or something. All eight listeners are going to hear this, <laughs> and all four watchers on YouTube, Squirrely TV, are going to see this. Subscribe. Yeah. I will look at your ass if you need me to. No homo. No, won't, I can't. Hold, won't hold we, it against we, you. We, we, talk, we talked about this. I mean, Sarah even offered, and no, she's no, 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 a, no. We talked about why Sarah can't. Sarah can't look at my butthole. Why? Damn it. So, so, for those who don't know, Sarah is our friend who is a nurse. She's been our friend since high school. We're very close. Uh, I she can't look at my butthole because, but it's know. it's business. It ain't. But 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 we're friends though. So it's weird. What if she puts her scrubs on? No, 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 no. So here's the here's the thing. In my this is how it, this is just my head. This is, this is my. This head. is a problem. Uh, so if Sarah looks at my butthole, we've, we've been good friends for a while, <laughs> and so that takes us from here to here. Sarah is now here. She has something over my head because she looked looked at my dirty asshole, and so Why now is it dirty because it's always dirty. Let's be real, and so now I need to look at Sarah's butthole to get the le- French level level back on on track. But she's married to another friend of ours now. Benji, her husband is very cool, and so now if I look at Sarah's butthole, now me and Sarah are cool, but now Benji's down here. I looked at his wife's butthole, and now the only way that Benji can get close, you know, to being dominance again in that, you know, our our relationship, us three, is he has to basically put his finger in my butthole <laughs> to, to to control his dominance, and so that's not gonna work for little, me. Little J hook, yeah, that's not gonna work for me. So I, no, I got you. No, not none of my friends. I got you. I got you. I think the only person. I got you with the J hook. I got you. Only person I think I might. I don't even know any nurse friends, to be honest with you, that aren't in relationships or like women. Oh, Alec, John's cousin. But that's still weird. (laughs) All the drinking. I'm I'm not going to. No one's going to look at my butthole. That just turned into a feature drinking time where you go, hey, you remember that one time I looked at you, (laughs) Bob? No. And everybody go. (gasps) But it's been bad. It's, I've been putting on the cream for about a good <laughs> halfway. <laughs> what? The, the, just like the anti-itch stuff. Dude, I don't know. We're getting real personal it on this itches. podcast. I don't, do hemorrhoids itch? I think. If it's not, if they don't itch, Because I thought I had on? one for about three days, but I think I just, I you know, that traveling, man. That it, rough it, all comes, it all comes back to the, the, the DR trip, which the vlog coming soon. Don't worry about it. You'll see the, all my gory details because I did vlog it. <laughs> In the bathroom? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's at least one. Because I, oh, I remember one time I was doing it. Content. <laughs> remember one time I was doing it and the lights went off and I was scared. Oh, dude. I'm pretty sure I got okay, a, got so on camera. Okay, so you know that I'm a traveling pooper. Yes. Right? So I got the map and it's going to be on display at my funeral in the future. And it's going to be on one of them interactive TVs where you can click the dot and see where I pooped, what it was like. And, <laughs> you know, was it a good one? Was it a bad one? Did you cry? Did you bleed? Whatever. Yeah. And so... I don't know where I was going with this. <laughs> I had to do with the, the poop map, right? Yeah, but fire, man. <laughs> Literally. This is why I'm going to the doctor next <laughs> week. <laughs> if you tell him, like, so if you go to a doctor and say, hey, doc, because the way I did it didn't work. I just said, hey, can I get an MRI? They said no. No, you just, you got to. But if you say, hey, I have, like, my head if is fuzzy. If you get a referral, though, you can go to affordable MRI. Well, how do you get a, a, a referral? From your doctor? I think. So if you go to doctor tomorrow or Wednesday and say, hey, my brain's a little fuzzy, might have a hard time remembering things, uh, can I just check and make sure everything's all, cool, all, all good up there? And they'll give you, like, a, like an MRI okay. reference note yeah. or whatever? And then you go there, and then it's, like, 300 bucks. 300 bucks MRI. They're normally over a grand. So that's with insurance, it's 300 bucks. They no, cover it? No, that's just. 
It's the affordable part. Well, but you can't just cover? show up. No, insurance has nothing to do with it. You pay for it. An MRI? That's why it's... <laughs> I don't know anything about healthcare, Nick. This isn't healthcare. This is a business. I don't know anything about business. <laughs> Like, what do you want from me? Squirrely TV. <laughs> as soon as I get enough money, I'm hiring somebody. Oh, shit. But, uh, no, it's a place called Affordable MRI, and you you go, and you pay for it out of your pocket, and you get an MRI, and then you get the results, and you go to your doctor. Okay. Or if you have somebody in your life. How, I, I, I feel you. Uh, so he, Head-related is for three ninety nine, I think. So it's a business that does just affordable yeah, MRIs. Yeah, it's, it's in the medical industry. Okay. So. so what if I didn't go to that? I can just get like an actual, like a regular If you went through the hospital or whatever, it's over a grand. And that's, and that's what, before insurance. That's before insurance. Okay. Yeah. So they so cover I, some so I don't. It. it depends on what your insurance does. Ah. Uh, because you know they're always looking for a way to f*** you. True, true, true. That's well, why I don't go. They, they, they helped me with my foot. I yeah, felt well, like it could have been worse with the ER bill. Yeah. But uh, so I mean, last good. time I was in the ER, it was like $7,000. Jesus. For, for two you, two hours of my time. Concussion? No, it was that one time I went riding bikes with Sarah. Concussion? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was part of it. <laughs> you can't make fun of me. I was concussed. I was just bleeding out of my face, <laughs> my arm, my legs. Was it a concussion? No, it was a bikes with Sarah. Concussion? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, Jesus, I'm, just, I'm man. sorry, man. Dude, I think it's like a tie between you and Sean <laughs> for who has, I think, has the most concussion. I think, does Sean, Sean have more than Sean's th- probably got more than me because I'm careful. But you Now. Okay. Because I'm like, I just want to, that's how, okay, I'm going to ask, I'm going to go, Timmy, mm-hmm. how close am I to just derp? To so just derp? Yeah, I want to know before it's like. So you try to get like a brain scan? I don't know. I just want to get everything scanned. I think they can do like Put a... Put br- my dick in the printer and what tell me f- what's wrong with it. <laughs> Nothing's wrong with your dick. I know. <laughs> but uh, I think they can get... You can get uh, printed images of like your, the neurons frying. Oh, your dick? No. If it, well, probably, yeah. You put your dick on a printer and you might get a picture of your dick. I'm just <laughs> Say that five times fast. I can barely say it once. <laughs> put your dick in a printer and you get a picture of your dick. <laughs> I'm saying you can get a picture of your brain, like 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 the neurons firing, to see how like oh, I bet it's fucking like like the how the brighter you, function, the brighter you, <laughs> the brighter your brain is, the more neurons are firing, and the more active your brain is, and like the you know darker is like cloudy and. I bet it depends on the moment. There are moments where I'm just yeah, kind of chill, probably. and then you know like there are other moments where I'm just boom, boom, bing, 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 bing. That's bing. probably it's like when you're doing like a, like a like a wordle. You're probably firing off more newer because you're thinking more and harder. It's like when I'm driving the truck. Holy sh! All the multitasking I got to do. You're probably the adrenaline helps you too to yeah. like zoom in and think. That's like why easier. That's why you know, like when I leave the pits, I always you know just floor it, drop it into second. I take off because that's when I you know leave all of my you know anxiety or whatever in the pits and I go out and I do what I got to do and I get through it and then I come back in and that's when <laughs> and Ho- then, you know shaking hopefully, and hopefully that's what's going to happen with this ghost hunting thing I'm going to get anxiety and get in the room do my thing not be scared and then once I leave I can just cry nah man you're going to come back home and there's going to be more <laughs> than just a nap problem in this apartment dude I'm bringing my bible I'm bringing my kid bible my teen bible <laughs> my, adi- my adult bible I'm bringing all the bible I've ever had in my life I'm bringing take some water I'm bringing my catechism I'm bringing, catechism. That, I'm bringing that book that uh, you know uh, what's his name Grayson now, you should take out your little application for your confirmation thing or whatever yep I'm so bringing, you'd be like certified my Haley's bible handbook remember yes, that book yes. I'm bringing that thing oh. too if I get scared unless I like, start seeing stuff and like getting really scared I'm going to start reading I'm just going to read passage it's gonna open my whatever book up. you do. Just make sure the camera's going and the audio's good. Uh, yeah, that's true. That is true. I'm scared though, but I am scared. But there, I, you'll be all right. I'll be all right. I, I believe in you, and I, I know you, you'll be safe. Don't look at the net. Look at me. <laughs> look at me. Nothing at. My brain was firing <laughs> off my neurons. I was like, <laughs> this like thing. one eye was looking at me, and the other. <laughs> <one> <laughs> Dude, I'm turning into like a gnat hunter, dude. I know how I can. I, I told Nick, I have got down to a science where I can literally scratch, snatch it out of the air. It should be a whole and, vlog. And crumble it. How, what, it pissed me off editing that vlog. I just see gnats flying around. <laughs> I hate them. They're so dumb. I hate gnats. I never had like a gnat problem um, in my life. Like I would have like two or three here or there in my old house. 
No, nah, it's a it's an infestation. Oh man! If you if I open that curtain, I bet you fourteen just come flying out like a swarm. But yeah, anything? Any other health scares you got? No, I mean no. The occasional, you know, sexual disease scare, but I mean, that's how has that uh, aspect of your life been going? <laughs> What? Talking about diseases, how's how's the sex life? Uh, Hopefully I, I, being safe out here with these hoes. <laughs> <laughs> they are ladies. They are ladies. No, some, I've actually took some. I, I I've been taking some time off. Okay. I've been dry so time. far this year. Taking you this year. It's only been ten fucking days. <laughs> hey, that's longer than it's been for a while. <laughs> So the, when I got back from being on the road, I was like, oh, okay, I'm back now. Where they at? <laughs> <laughs> where they at? No. Where they, where they at? No. So, I mean, it was, it was pretty Okay. When you said disease, so I'm just making sure that you're no, clean. No, I ain't got no. You're good. No. Okay. It's just, it's just, it gets in your head, man. Mm-hmm. Like when you're out there doing this shit, like everything that could happen, you know, pregnancy, f- herpes, gonorrhea, uh, oh, syphilis. Yeah. AIDS. Man. AIDS, yes. Yeah. AIDS. So, you know, you got the big five. You know, in your head while yeah. you're thinking with your other head, and you just gotta say, it. just the think, think, t- do what I did back in the day. Just have this phrase go in your head. These hoes ain't loyal. Well, I, the big thing that helps me get through shit, and I live by this. I I don't wear condoms because the Lord protects me. Uh, children, if you're listening to this podcast, please wrap it up and protect yourself. These hoes ain't loyal. It's like Roger says, wear a raincoat. Yes, please do. <laughs> but okay, you're out here just raw dogging. I, I like it. No. Only people I trust. Okay, fair enough. I trust all of them. <laughs> <laughs> that caught me off guard. <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, you're the one over there. Is f- I well, what you gonna say about me? I was one, one one girl for five years. Yeah, we did the thing with the counting, but now she got an IUD and it's all good. Or IUD DUI, <laughs> what's, what's, what's the thing you put in your vagina to block the block the semen? The, the curved T thing. Yeah, that yeah. thing. Uh, IED. IUD. IUD. What's the bomb? IUD. It's IED. It's a okay, bomb. IUD. Too many it's f- not acronyms. DUI. I know that. Yeah, DUI is what I got. <laughs> <laughs> She's got an IUD. I got a DUI. Uh, just that should be a rap song. <laughs> 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 Hey, hey, um, yeah, that's <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to head out guys. So. You got anything else you want to add to this episode? I <laughs> was just random yeah. dialogue. No, I mean, it's not oh. random. It's for a purpose. Health is important. Yes. All, all kinds of health. All health. Sexual health, regular health, mental, mental health. health, especially mental health. Yeah. <laughs> I just like how you said that. Everybody man. pray for my mental health next Monday. <laughs> Real Dude, talk. Not just jeers. I, I'm gonna be a mess Wednesday. What's Wednesday? The doctor's report. Oh, shit. Fucking... <laughs> Maybe I need to go to the room. <laughs> I'm gonna write it down. C T E. Uh anything else you want to <laughs> <laughs> now uh, uh make sure you head over to Squirrely TV on YouTube and subscribe. Like all the videos, like them. Yes. And then head over to all the social medias, and Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Squirrely TV. And remember to comment on the videos too. And also leave a, a review on our Apple podcast and Spotify. Yeah, it helps us with the we'll algorithm. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. We totally forgot about that segment. <laughs> we what segment? The, reading, uh, reading the reviews out loud. Shit. Good <laughs> thing I'm going to a doctor. Well, hell yeah. Well, I'm uh, Jeff. And I'm Nick. <laughs> this has been another episode of Unapologetically Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I think I do have sexually transmitted diseases. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>